Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you this Jennifer Lopez inspired makeup tutorial. So I hope you enjoy and let's jump right in. I'm going to be using my MAC Painting Lee Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and applying that onto my eyelids. I really love this primer and this is actually like the second primer I actually use. So yeah, not an expert on primers you guys, so let me know what kind of primers you like in the comments down below because I'm definitely open to trying new things, you know? I'm a makeup channel and I love to try new things, so let me know what you love in the comments down below. Taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and using the shadow Raw Sheena with this crease brush and just using it as my transition shade. I do have to say you guys, this is an amazing palette. It's perfect for fall because of all the burnt oranges, the browns, and the cranberry colors. This was a really thought out product. Like This palette is really amazing and it was really thought out and the shadows are super buttery and blendable and especially they are pigmented that is so so important because you do not want them to be ashy looking now i'm going to be taking the eyeshadow Boing fresco and i'm going to be putting that into the crease area as well just on top of Roshina and this is going to make it kind of look kind of like a burnt pinkish color so those two colors are going to be as the transition shade and you just want to make sure that you blend it really really well this brush is actually from Marshalls it's called Kala I charged to Amazon it for you guys and the rest of the stuff they do have a website but this brush I couldn't find a way to add it to the cart, so I apologize, but if you go to Marshalls, you can probably pick it up. It's by Kala, and it's the crease brush. And now I'm going to be using Love Letter and just putting that also in the crease area. Now, JLo's look has a lot of crease work, okay? She, whoever did her makeup, I should say, actually did a lot of things in the crease. They really brought it up on the eye and that's the most beautiful thing about the look that it wasn't just a simple eye, it was more dramatic and I loved it. Now I'm going to be taking Venetian Red and going on top of Love Letter with that just to darken it up. And from the Master Palette by Anastasia, I'm going to be using Muse on my eyelid. This is a beautiful, beautiful combination of eyeshadows that I really really love. Both of these palettes are so amazingly gorgeous. Now using my L'Oreal True Match foundation and just patting that and blending it all over my skin with my beauty sponge. I love to use a damp beauty sponge especially if you're going for the JLo look because her look is more dewy and glowy and you know that JLo glow is just absolutely everything that is the main goal here. So just lightly pat on the foundation if you want, you can build it. If not, you can just leave it alone. I chose to go a very kind of light coverage here because she didn't look like she had too much on her skin. It looked very natural but glowy at the same time. Now using my NYX concealer and I'm just going to be concealing my under eyes and any other blemishes that I really don't want to be shown on my face and that's what I'm going to be doing and then afterwards I'm just going to be patting that in with my beauty blender. Here we go. There you go. Pat, 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 pat into the skin. I love to pat the concealer in and not like drag it against the skin because a lot of people like to pull on their skin and that is not good. I'm now using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the shade Java. I'm going to be carving out my cheeks because JLo has a very strong bone structure 
and her jaw looks very strong and her cheekbones are absolutely chiseled and they're so beautiful. So because we are chiseling out the cheeks with this contour shade, please make sure that if you do try this, make sure to actually blend in that contour and don't leave that harsh line there because a lot of girls like to leave that harsh line and that's a big no-no. So keep on blending it until it looks very very natural so i know i didn't show it but on this brush is actually my Too Faced bronzer in milk chocolate soleil so just put that on the cheeks as well now i'm just going to be using my caudi air spun setting powder and i'm just going to be setting underneath my contour and underneath my eyes i love 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 to do this with a damp beauty blender because it just gives it more of that flawless coverage and i also learned that from makeup by mario he has some amazing tips so if you haven't heard about him which i'm probably sure you have please go and check him out because his makeup tips are absolutely amazing like for real. I'm now using my blush by Makeup Revolution in Dare and I'm just going to be lightly tapping this onto my apples of my cheeks because JLo does look like she has a little bit pink on her cheeks but it's very like a flushed pink so because it's a flushed pink we are not going to leave that pink there we're just going to tap it in with a beauty blender and now with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sweets Glow Kit I'm gonna be using the highlighter in butterscotch you guys I said it in my last video this is my favorite like highlighter it's amazing and now just curl those lashes as you all may tell if you have watched my previous makeup tutorials I love the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom Mascara, and I'm not going to be using any falsies for this look either. So that's the mascara I have used. And now, because JLo had some of the same exact reddish color on her bottom eyelash line, um, I'm just going to be taking this brush that comes with the palette and just sweeping some of that eyeshadow onto my lower lash line as well. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Milkshake. And then I'm just going to be topping it off with an Alme Lip Gloss in Blooming. And that is it for this look, you guys. I really do hope you enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!